Welcome. Whether you want to fall asleep listening to relaxing music or just want to block out your partner's annoying snoring, the Soundcore Sleep 820 is never going to let you down or desert you. Namaste, we're DHRME. Doctor, he rick rolled me. Now let's talk about build and comfort, especially comfort because that's crucial with buds meant for sleeping. Uh, and these buds are super compact, which is already a great start. You get seven pairs of tips and three pairs of ear wings. But the fun thing here is you get two types of tips. So one is these sealed ear tips over here, which is just like normal earbud ear tips, you know. Um, but you also get these breathable ear tips. And what I really like about them is they have a perforation on the ear tip that lets them breathe and you don't feel as plugged up as you would with sealed ear tips. The downside is of course that it does let in a bit more sound. And since these don't have ANC or noise canceling, there's no way to avoid sounds that are coming into your ear, but it does help relieve pressure a bit. Now, this interesting thing is for me, the breathable ear tips are a godsend because A, they reduce pressure, but B, when I'm talking, they really help minimize occlusion. That is the sound of hearing yourself through your skull. But that was my experience. For Kevin, the occlusion was just the same with both ear tips. Namaste, we're THRME. Doctor, he really rickrolled me. Occlusion. <laughs> so as human anatomy does, you know, your mileage may vary, but I thought the addition of the breathable ear tips was a real game changer for me. Which means you can kind of find your size pretty well. And again, this is crucial for buds for sleeping. What we really like is the soft materials, not just of the tips, but of the buds themselves. So that feels really comfortable on your ear. And the size isn't too big. In fact, it's quite tiny and doesn't stick out from the ears. So as far as we're concerned, Soundcore has done a bang up job on the hardware side. You also get touch controls and you get double tap and triple tap on either ear, all of which can be customized in the app, which is very Soundcore. Then taking a look at the case, it is kind of big and it acts like a bed for the buds. And placing the buds in the bud bed is a bit of a nightmare, especially if you do this in low light. The inside of the case doesn't light up, unlike some other Soundcore buds, which would have been quite useful in this case for putting back the earbuds in the case when you're done with it. And then there's the battery life. We've tested it like we normally do. Now, there are two numbers to keep in mind here. There's the advertised 10 hours when you use it with Bluetooth, and there's the advertised 14 hours when you use it only using the sleep sounds, so that is without Bluetooth. Now, for using it on Bluetooth, we tested it and got nine hours of battery life. All right, pretty decent. And when we tested it with the sleep sounds only, we got 17 hours. And to be fair, we did play the rain sounds at a low volume, but still the battery numbers more or less add up. Let's talk about sound because these are fairly loud, but they're not ultra loud. So they're very much on the medium end of how much volume you would require. And I would say that for most of you guys, this would be just fine. Now you get decent bass, uh, very tight and controlled as a sound course way. But unfortunately, I found the treble a bit too grating for my taste, especially at higher volumes. But I guess for rain sounds and chilled out music, which you would use for sleeping, that's fine. Um, one thing to note is that there is absolutely no sound customization whatsoever. These are not targeted towards people who want EQ and EQ presets, even though Soundcore usually provides that with its other earbuds. This is a very focused product related to sleeping, as is evidenced by the next feature that Kevin will talk about. So when we're lying in bed, how do these buds perform in terms of our popsicles, icicles and test psych? There are no samples because there are no microphones on these buds. If you want microphones, go and buy another pair of buds. But jokes aside, in order to make these buds as small and lightweight as possible, you've got to save space somewhere and that's probably what Soundcore has done here. And let's be honest, I don't know how many of you make phone calls when you're sleeping. Now we've talked about the hardware, let's talk software because this app is pretty good. So there's tons of white noise options to choose from. And there's things like masking, noise, water, nature, life, meditation. And these are just categories of sounds. These are not one sound each. And there's also a couple of snore masking noises in case your partner or whoever sleeps in the vicinity snores audibly. You can also stack up up to three different sounds on top of each other. For example, in the screen recording, you can see that I'm playing with 
three sounds and also that I can change the volume of each of those sounds individually can also tune those sounds to be warmer and brighter. Okay, so after you choose sleep sounds, you can upload these to your earbuds so there's no need of a Bluetooth connection with your phone to play these sounds. The whole process wasn't very intuitive. You can set up multiple sleep sounds, but it wasn't clear which sleep sound set was being played at that moment. So it was just easier to throw out all the sets and keep one that you wanted to use at that time. Now, there are also bedtime reminders and alarms. One is good, one not so much. The app notifies you, at least it theoretically notifies you when you should go to bed, much like that wind down feature on iOS devices, but that didn't work. Notifications were turned on. I set a wind down schedule to start at 10 p.m. and a wake up at 7 a.m. Didn't remind me at all. So not sure what's up there. But the alarm function did work. And what it'll do is you can select a certain kind of tune that you wanted to play as the alarm. And that was quite nice. And you can also turn off the alarm by double tapping the bud or putting the buds back in the case. Now there are two options for the sleep sounds to play. You can either set it to play all night long or you can let it play until you fall asleep. Or you can also let it play a certain number of hours after you've fallen asleep. There's also a smart switch feature which enables the earbuds to automatically switch from streaming audio to the sleep sounds after some time when it notices that you've fallen asleep. And apart from sleep sounds and alarms, the buds also collect sleep data. I've compared it to the Huawei Band 8 that I've been testing lately. And here's the data side by side. Both measured similar results for total time slept, which is good. And deep and light sleep stages were kind of similar with a plus minus 20 to 30 minutes difference. Unfortunately, on the Sleep 820, there's no measure of REM sleep. And what it also doesn't have is a heart rate sensor, which is interesting because Soundcore's Liberty 4 were the only buds that we've tested that had it. Maybe in the next iteration, Soundcore? Anyway, what we did enjoy seeing in the data of the A20 is how many times you've rolled over in total and per hour, and also which position you slept in for most of the time. I'm happy to see that I'm sleeping more on my side these days. So I tested all of these features for a couple of nights in a row, and the first experience that I had was I set it to a smart switch, so it automatically switches from Bluetooth audio to the sleep sound, or the sleep mode rather, when it detects you've fallen asleep. And I was listening to Andrew Humerman's podcast with Matthew Walker about sleep, and I actually didn't realize when it switched over to sleep mode. So when I got up afterwards, I checked how far I got into the podcast before it switched over, and it was 30 minutes. But if you ask me how much of the podcast I remember, then I would say like 10 minutes. But another setting that I turned on was to turn off sleep mode after two hours after I've fallen asleep. But this didn't happen. It was on the entire time. And I also set up a personal sound consisting of rain and white noise. And I think the rain made me want to pee in the middle of the night. So I spent a total of eight hours in bed. I got up and I checked and I had 50% of battery left. So plenty for a night's sleep, guys. And then the next night that I tested this, it actually switched from Bluetooth to sleep sounds one and a half hours later. That took quite a bit longer, but I didn't quite notice it. So maybe I just slept through the podcast, I'm not sure. And then in terms of comfort, these buds were decently comfortable, but depending on the hardness of your pillow and if you're a side sleeper and the anatomy of your ears, your mileage may vary. Overall, these buds are small. I personally did notice a tiny bit of soreness in my left ear, but switching to a small tip size did help a bit. Since I'm not using a smartwatch, see this video for more, the alarm function on these buds are actually very clutch. It will play a tune to gently wake me up and bed partners are none the wiser. But, and this is a big thing, there's no ability to snooze the alarm. You can only turn it off with a double tap. So who is this for? As we said up top, these buds are meant for sleeping and Soundcore has paid a lot of attention to detail for that purpose. Whether you want earbuds to sleep with or just listen to relaxing music in the background with, these are clutch. But there are three areas of improvement for Soundcore that we'd suggest. 
Um, number one, make it easier to put the buds in the case. It's probably going to be used at night with not much ambient light. So it would be awesome if you could just throw the buds in there and the magnets do the thing and catch the right position. Number two, enable a snooze option for the alarm feature. And number three, fix the issue where you want the sounds to play until you fall asleep, but they continue to play the entire night. And also, now this is a bit of a health thing. Uh, the question really is, do you want to have earbuds in your wax in your wax also the question is do you want earbuds in your ears regularly at night while sleeping now there's bacteria buildup but there's also the very real issue of earwax pushing back into the ear canal and there are some real risks there not just with these earbuds but with any kind of earplugs in general it does appear that sleeping with your ears plugged is safe and if that is so this is a pretty nifty product but as always do not take health advice from goofy YouTube channels. Do your own research, preferably not on YouTube. All right, guys, full disclaimer, Soundcore sent these buds over to us for free for review purposes. And this is by no means a sponsored video because we don't accept money from companies whose products we review. And that keeps us super independent towards you guys because we wanna help you make the best purchase decision that you can. And us taking money from companies and then calling it a review, doesn't work. But you guys are our real sponsors. Thank you very much for supporting us as a YouTube member or a patron. And a special thanks goes to our Fuckmon tier supporters, Paula, Gamma Panda, and Radioactive Iguana Dude. You've been catching a wink. And we've been DHRME. Dewey. Dewey.